Rafe, we'll start with you. If you could briefly introduce your character, David Henninger. Yes, I play David Henninger, who is married to Joe Henninger, played by Jessica Chastain. Uh, we are first revealed at the beginning of the film, arriving on a boat at the port of Tangier in Morocco, heading towards an upscale party in the middle of the desert. Well, um, and I think quite quickly the audience of this film will see that our marriage is fractious and acidic and snarky. Um, but something happens on the road which changes everyone's lives. And I think it's no spoiler to say that um, you know, it's a hit and run, well, not quite a hit and run, but we hit a young Moroccan boy who appears to walk into the headlights of our car. And uh, the result of that accident is, is the rest of the film. Thank you. And Jessica, your character, Joe? How am I supposed to add to that? It was the perfect, what am I supposed to say? Uh, <laughs> my name's Jessica Chastain. I play Joe Henninger, uh, wife to David Henninger, played by Ray Fiennes. Um, at the beginning of the film, we have a tragic accident and a young boy is killed. And the film explores the repercussions and the consequences of that and how it changes the lives of all involved. The film's thematic conflict is the culture class between uh, you know, privilege and entitlement of wealthy foreigners and how they view and interact with the Moroccan, uh, the local Moroccan population. So I'm wondering if you guys could describe how your characters evolve within that context and that conflict. Well, initially, you, the, I don't think, I think we come with, as you say, the entitlement means we don't really see these people who are you know, they are the, the stage management of the party, you know, the, 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 the gay couple who are holding the party rely on the local Moroccan who are working for them to make, to, fu to function. And I think um, I've seen this kind of behavior, entitled people coming in and sort of seeing through the people who are serving them a meal or making them a cup of coffee or making their bed or cleaning their bathroom. There's a sort of, a, a kind of callous indifference to these people. And um, but I think um, through the course of the film, both our characters change in very different ways as a result of this, the, the killing that's happened. Oh yeah, no, David, yes, sorry, David evolves from being the kind of person I've described to D David. In the end, he evolves, the, his involvement is that he confronts what he's done. He accepts, he owns up to what he's done. Initially, reluctantly, perhaps, but there's a what's interesting. What was interesting about the part to play was the involvement towards accepting, taking responsibility for what you've done, even if it means that you might have to go lean into the into an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. You know that if he's killed someone, maybe he has to die. I think he has to confront that, and he, in the end, he does it with a sort of um, real. A sort of ferocious integrity, I would argue. I think the film, in addition to exploring privilege and race, it also, what I loved so much about Joe and John's writing in the novel, it, it explores gender. Uh, you know, when we first meet Joe, she feels a lot of sadness and empathy and um, guilt over what happened. And she, so much so, she wants to go speak to the father of the boy and she's rebuted, you know, because she's a woman and, and told she's, it's not appropriate for, a, you know, for her to have this conversation. She tries to, con you know, to have a conversation with Hamid. She, tr you know, she, you see these moments of her uh, being uh, ignored, I think, uh, merely, you know, because of her gender. And you see her rebel against that and then, throw it in the face of all these men this this sense of her power and her uh, fearless um desire to live in a way where she is putting her needs and her wants um before i guess thinking of others so she makes quite a, a transformational journey throughout this film you know yes she doesn't behave in a way that I think throughout the, the film might be the most compassionate towards the end of the film. But you see this woman who is in desperate need of um, changing her life. 
uh, and, and behaving in a way that it's, it feels like it's an act of survival for her. All right. Well, you guys sold me on the film, so <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, that's it for this one. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey! hey.